What, what are your thoughts? been a very exciting couple of days like, kind of seeing what we've been looking forward to for a long while and this has kind of been the culmination of what we talked about last time the dry build process getting the car to a stage where we could get the wheels on sit it on the floor move the suspension through its travel and just get all the little parts on there and we, this is all what we talked about last time just checking everything fits now before we get it to the paint stage but obviously the, the, the off spin off of that is we get to see it on its wheels at ride height, which is a sort of super excitement boost for everyone really, because you're gonna get to see it, uh, almost a hint of its final form. Um, and you know, one, one person, probably more than any, <laughs> who's gonna be excited by seeing this is Gordon, because he's gonna be coming over uh, to have a look at it in this state, sit in it, see if he's happy with the positions of all the controls, the steering wheel, the gear stick, check the visibility of the instruments. Um, and he's gonna be looking at you know, the underside of it, basically making sure he's happy with everything on it, um, including the suspension, which I know Nat's pretty nervous about, because um, obviously he's designed a complete rear suspension system for a man who's designed Formula One car suspension systems. Um, so we're all keen to see what he thinks of that. Right, so we have a quick look under here. Uh, we've gone completely mechanically built, the steering's connected up. Uh, we've got the strut brace done, which is something we were literally doing last thing yesterday um, to try and stiffen everything up because one thing Gordon was quite particular about was, was getting stiffness into the shell. So we've done some corner gussets in the engine bay and that strut brace which just sneaks through between the bonnet reinforcement here and the top of the coil packs. Um, so we'll see what he thinks of that. Hopefully that ticks all the boxes on, on that one. And, and yeah, it's a, a sort of sign of things to come. go it's pretty cool I mean all this front stuff's basically just off the shelf parts you can probably see this wheels drooping a lot more than that one because the, the actual damper inserts are a different length one side to the other just because we wanted to try a couple of different droop travels um, but when we strip all this apart now we're going to send the strut body those struts to Nitron who are actually going to build a complete new strut um, based on the dimensions of these and it's the same on the back Nat's made basically a, a steel strut that can be lengthened and shortened and moved through its travel so it locates the wheel in position. Not allowed to talk about it. No, no. <laughs> lots of hush hush stuff. No, but it's sad. And it was, it was fine to be fair, but it was very nerve wracking. And yeah, he could yeah. tell. He, I think he was getting nervous because I was so obviously so nervous. Saying I got to play to yesterday, the uh, the actual uh, bits of metal that are originally. <laughs> there's not much. Not, not well, you saw the video, <laughs> didn't you? Of yeah. me saying, look yeah, at the yeah, underside. Yeah, there's not, yeah, not yeah. a lot of original left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you, yeah. Were you doing drinks with you or somebody else? Uh, the, we, no, 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 no drink well, requests. We might as well go through and have a look through. Yeah. Oh, I've just bought, I've finally bought an imp, uh, which is difficult to find actually. Yes, I imagine so. Yeah. 
Stu's been there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might have to get him to knock the noise down a bit. In there. <laughs> so there, well, there, there it is. There she is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh... Oh, the wheels look nice, don't they? Yeah. I'll turn her. Well, I, think I, think I know it's going to be a hot rod, but... Yeah, but it's about making it sort of subtle and classic looking as yeah. well, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. So we're kind of almost there with all the metal panel work now. Yeah. Um, we've, we've got a few, a few sort of jobs to do. Once, once you've kind of okayed everything that's here, we're going to strip it back down. We've got, still got all the seam brazing to do on it. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a few other bits and bobs. The wings are still just screwed on at the minute because when we've stripped it back, yeah. We're going to blast it and do that thermal zinc spray process we do on right. the underside, which I want, we want to include doing behind the wing on the bit you can't get to right. once they're on, uh, and then weld them on afterwards. Um, so they're still like the final alignment on, yeah, between the wings. The front end looks good, it. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. The big, we'll put it on the lift in a minute so you can yeah, have a look yeah, at the yeah, underside, but I mean, the big metalwork yeah. changes are obviously all of the rear bulkhead area for the yeah. sort of struts, the, the turrets that are in there. Yeah. We've got all the, all the rear suspensions on, so I'll, we'll show you on the lift in a sec. Um, and the dash, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. Have a, we'll have a, well, you can have a sit in in a minute. Yeah, it looks and good. Go through and see how it feels. I've, yeah. got, I've got a little, the biggest concern I've got is that we might need to lower the instruments more. We've already lowered them versus where they were originally. Right. But because we've fabricated a, a steel pod that's separate to the main dash, it's not that difficult to lower them more. Right. It's going to cut out a bit more metal and drop it. But, but yeah, I mean, have a, have a sit in if you, if you want. Yeah. It's easier to sit in now than when it's on the lift. We'll have a proper nose under yeah. a bit. Yeah, slots look nice. I think what's going to happen though, if that goes up an inch, it's going to have to come this way a bit. Yeah, but that's, that's just on easy, a. Yeah, yeah we that's can just a, put a bigger boss. That's on. a mock up boss anyway at the moment on there, yeah. Okay. I would say an inch up and an inch or three quarters of an inch this way. Yeah. Be about right. Which also gives you more clearance here yeah, yeah. as it comes up. Great. But that, that I thought was going to be, just looking at where the hole was when I was yeah. sitting, sitting in it last time. I'll just try it one. Nat just knocked up that, that crank stick last night just to sort of mock no, it it's up. too far. See. Yeah. It's about right, yeah. We've got done the clutch rest sort of there as well, which I think will do yeah, about. Yeah, that's clear. fine. Yeah. Well, that's good news. That's an easy one because we... We were going to put a deeper boss probably on it. You know, we can choose whatever boss yeah. we want. So, so. <laughs> I know. Staring at the B pillar. <laughs> it's like, have you sat in one of those new Alfa uh, Giulia? Uh, no. Is it Giulia? The, the, the Quattrofoglia, the Ferrari V8 powered one. It's the same in that. It's so, so bizarre. Yeah, you sit yeah, in it yeah. and you look to the side and the pillar's next to your head. At least the pillar but, in this is yeah. thin. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it also, the, the over shoulder T junction um, stuff is, is through the yeah, yeah. quarter light anyway. Just yeah, don't get yeah. it too sideways. <laughs> <laughs> The interesting thing is, even though I'm sitting so low, the H point is is very low relative to the original car, mm. which is why I've got all yeah. this room. But the downward forward vision it is nice still. Is still okay. Yeah. Even with the windscreen rubber in there, mm. it's still I can still have pretty good forward vision, and of course the upward vision for traffic lights and stuff yeah. is much better. That's yeah. interesting. You think about that's something yeah. I would never even. Well, I, I, I was I was that. surprised because of how low. Mm because of how low we sit, and I'm quite yeah. short compared to you, obviously. I, 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 I thought my forward vision was still okay. Yeah, and even the down sideward vision is mm. fine. Yeah. It's just that sort of glance straight to the side. That I suppose you, don't, you, don't, you never really do that. Like you say, if you're changing lanes, you tend to glance behind yeah. you through the, through the rear one and you'll have a mirror as well. Actually, no, you, were you talking about not having mirrors on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll obviously that's have to, yeah, yeah, we've got Just to, yeah. 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 I can't wait to see you sitting in it when it's actually yeah, another, done. Another two miles an hour <laughs> top speed without mirrors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
as I say, that's very rough and ready because I did that last night at about nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> but I think positioning wise, it's probably not the reach, too the reach, far off. The reach is fine, you know. The, the, there's, the interlock's not right on it because it should have a close off that reverses left and forward mm -hmm. um, and it's the interlocks um, it, it hasn't got an interlock on it at the minute because the, right. the lock plate is part of the bit that's missing <laughs> yeah that's the furthest yeah, yeah, reach that, well that's it? reverse first yeah. is slightly less far across but it's <laughs> but there's no interlock to push it up against for first at the right minute. there will be obviously yeah <laughs> we did your your harness mounting points so you've got you've got the option of harnesses um, okay. and we did three because right. we give you the option of either having the belts going back individually or both to a single point okay dependent on what yeah. was best What are your thoughts? I think the throw's fine there. Um, that you say that's just a mock-up. Yeah, you know? yeah, that was just a lash up last night. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a bit more crank. Yeah. It's a bit just just a bit of a straight arm stretch. And when I get going, I might want to go back a bit on the yeah. seat, one more click. Um, so I mean, probably I mean not much. If you can. Yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. I'm, I'll be yeah. making the stick from scratch anyway. That's literally yeah. just a I, I, up I last would, night. <laughs> I, I, would, I would bring it back. It's also nice to drop down a bit from the wheel rather than reach forward yeah. from the wheel. Uh, when, once you start going quickly, you really want to just go drop down from the wheel. You know? The actual length, I, you can't judge. I love thin rims. I can't yeah. stand these. Yeah. Apart from the fact they don't look period. Yeah. I don't like a thick grip anyway. No. You know? The, the, the lotuses are even slightly smaller diameter than they are very delicate and it just makes the steering feel so much better. Yeah. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised when I got that out of the box because I know you looked at the picture and we all liked it and you said, oh, it's got quite a thin rim on it. But yeah. until you actually see it in real life, yeah, you're never great. quite sure what it's going to be like. But. It's really good. Yeah. Right. We'll have, a, I suppose, a quick look under the bonnet, under the bonnet. Uh, yeah. and then we'll stick it on the lift. That's yeah. perfect, actually. That gear leave is going to be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's easy, easy yeah. mods. Mm -hmm. So, this was another yesterday job. We, sque oh, we right. squeezed the strut yeah, brace yeah. in there, uh, which was tight. Um, and then, you know, we were talking about bracing the engine bay up last time. We decided in the end to do these sort of sculpted gussets yes. in the corners there um, to try and add some of that sort of anti you know, uh, parallelogramming uh, yeah. sort of effect, um, which I think will add a fair amount of strength there. It's just battling for space on it. When you get the, the air box on this yeah. side, you know, you the think in theory you could put a bar right? across here, but when you, by the time you've got the trumpets on there and an air box on, yeah. the air box is about half an inch clear. The carbon air box is about half an inch clear of that one. different length damper inserts on the front at the minute, hence why it's got loads more droop trouble on one side than the other. It's all, oh, just, yeah. it's all just mock up stuff anyway, because yeah. Nitron will be building the final yeah. ones. So. At the back end, we've built kind of a dummy strut that is literally just metal tubes, but just so we could get everything actually bolted in place. And it'll be interesting to see what it weighs when it's finished. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to know. Yeah, the, so the front ends, front ends all relatively off the shelf parts, although it's nothing like standard. It's, uh, you've got the camera adjustment on the strut, mm -hmm. whereas you'd normally have an adjustable length uh, lower track control arm, although it's still adjustable length. Where does the bar diameter come from? That, that was just a standard That's off the shelf. Just a standard off the shelf one, yeah. Mm. There's, no, uh, there's no science behind is, that one other is than. Is that what people run on modified escorts? Apparently so, yeah. Okay, because it's, yeah. wow, it's not. It looks remarkably thin, doesn't it? That, well, it's not just thin, it's the length of the arm. 
So yeah, the, yeah. The, the calculation is, mm. is well, yeah. that and that and that, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I, I reckon that's probably only 15, 20% of the role stiffness contribution, max, mm. I'd say. Maybe a, even 10%. A lot, a lot of the guys don't run them at all. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't like, I like it. I don't like anti roll. No, I never no. use rear anti roll no. bars on anything. But, but normally I'm you go on a sports car, you'd be 35 to 40 percent contribution for mm. roll compensation. I suppose this um, is going to be from one the bar, to, to basically drive the car and well, see how it yeah. feels. Yeah, but, and yeah, but on the other hand, is that's what people use on these. Mm. Then. So, yeah, or, I mean, or this, nothing. Is, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is kind of the one of one of the better um, kind of rally orientated front setups. We've just modified certain okay, bits perfect. to be rubber rather than because it would normally be rose jointed on the but other it's, end. Yeah. It's not a big job. Yeah, in no. the scheme of uh, oh, in no. the scheme of work, it's not a big no, job no, to no, completely not change a, that. Not so, at all. <laughs> so you, that, that'll be one to uh, to suck it and see really and yeah. see how we sure. see how it feels. The famous rear end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it all seems, hopefully, it seems to point everything in the right direction through yeah. the sensible travel. And, yeah, all. What worked on the uh, on the computer appears to work in reality. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Most of the load we want to spread into the side of the rail. Yeah, um, but yeah I think. Oh, yeah, you've got yeah, a pretty yeah, good grip yeah, on yeah, that, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. And it's split between the front fore and aft because the rear, this rear brace takes a lot of the load as well, which is then spread into there and then that's tied directly up into the turret as well. Yeah, that's pretty stiff, isn't it? Yeah, I, think, I don't think that's going to go anywhere fast. Yeah, again, it looks You're like... hoping I haven't missed something obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to work at all. <laughs> No, just look at the load paths, and they all look pretty good, really. Yeah, that all looks pretty, you know, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Hopefully not. Must we'll be find nice. out when you Must start doing it Must be good for you having started on paper and scheming it out and then yeah, see yeah, it, yeah, finally yeah. see it. It was, it was nice to, to put it on nice, the car, and do, I mean, only by eye. I'm not going to say I've put a gauge on it to check, but by eye, the camber change, like that's on full droop now. It's obviously got a bit of positive. But the camber change by eye through its complete travel well, it's is very much right. what the computer said, what yeah. the program said. So at least that's worked out yeah. where, where it should be. And, and it's, it's very compact in terms of height. I was quite pleased with how it, it, it yeah. height-wise, there's, there's not a lot of height to it. No, it it's very really easy to start gaining. <laughs> Gaining height in yeah, it. That looks really good. The drive shafts are very obviously they're not in at the minute. The different CV joints at the minute. We're going to use these. I was a bit concerned by these, but these are a Mondeo one. They're they're like Mark three Mondeo Focus RS CV joint. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the drive shaft ends up being you know quite tight in as well. It's all mm -hmm. it's all quite compact. Yeah. yeah. Certainly a, a far cry from a standard Mark One Escort back end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like the way it looks standing. Should handle it. Yeah, it's on the ground, it all looks Yeah, it yeah, should handle the torque awesome. a bit better. Should an axle tram? No, no, no. Right, we're at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So if there's anything else, that's fine. I think you've, you've seen everything, so as long as yeah, you're looks, looks happy. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it looks great, guys. It really does, yeah. Strip it back down, finish the rest of the pitch and yeah. bobs and metal work on it, and then it'll be. Blast it again. Yeah, of course mm. you can, yeah. And then we'll be re-blasting it, doing the zinc spray process on the underside, and then it'll go through into mm. there, and Mark and Gaz will take over and start yeah. pressing it towards paint. And then we get the really exciting bit of uh, starting to bolt yeah. shiny bits onto a shiny shell. Good guys.
Right, we better go. Decent soft to see, we're just doing a series of builds for it. Um, but yeah, those, it's a W111 coupe, so uh, it's a cut up. We're preparing for a, uh, a yard tidy up. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. Good, Good to see you, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Well, thanks. See you later. Yeah, take see care. You see you. Cheers. Probably stand right on next to the thing.